Okay. We got the exhaust finished. Uh, this is probably the last time that anybody will see it outside of the truck. And uh, I just want to take a minute and go over a couple of things uh, about this Y pipe and setting up this exhaust for this conversion. Again, this is a uh, this Hummer is still using is is using the same exhaust that came out of the Chevy Tahoe with the motor that I pulled out of the Chevy Tahoe. So the exhaust manifolds are from a Chevy a 2008 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, these flanges are from the Tahoe, but all of this is uh, is from the internet is just a, a, a Y pipe from another application that uh, we had to make fit. Um, it's very important when you're building a Y pipe. Uh, or any exhaust really that if you're uh, going to mount your own O2 bungs as we have done that you uh, you drill them you get them first mounted with just a tack weld on top and then you get it back in and you do a mock-up and you set your O2s in and out in and out so that this way you can articulate your bungs before you uh, weld them for the final part there's nothing worse than having a beautiful high-end build with O2 sensors that are eaten into the body or eaten into the motor you know what I mean and all you had to do was just take it and mock it up and reposition your stuff, put the sensor in and out, set it right, and then pull it down for final welding. And that's what we did here, so we're happy. Uh, something that really matters on the Hummer is the Hummer does not use coil springs. The Hummer does not use leaf springs. The H3 uses uh, torsion rods. And uh, a torsion rod is kind of like a leaf spring, but instead of bending, it twists. And uh, they run parallel with the frame at each wheel from each wheel back to the frame where they mount so that they can keep the wheel you know where it is and uh so they run alongside our exhaust and because of where we built the y our torsion rod on the passenger side uh mounts uh just like this right in the crotch of the y i have it to where you can fit your hand all the way around so it's not like touching it but uh the thing about springs is if they're allowed to soak in heat over time, it, they can relax. So I wrap this really well just at the crotch just so that uh, two or five years from now we don't have the front right corner of the Hummer a little dipping a little bit lower because the torsion round got hot and relaxed. And aside from just this, I uh, we also got some of this uh, DEI heat wrap that we will actually, uh, it, it's Velcro, and we'll actually wrap this on the torsion rod itself just to make sure that that torsion rod is really, really well protected so there's no issues uh, down the road or moving forward. We also put some, uh, some nice uh, super high temp uh, aluminum paint on everything just so it looks nice. I'm sure it's gonna slowly cook off, but uh, it looks nice for now. And, um, we're gonna straight pipe where the cat was for now. Later on down the road, maybe we could entertain getting a pair of cats in it or one large high flow cat or something like that. But right now, there's a, there's not a lot of room for that. And um, I don't know if, if, if there's a, like if we could find the correct 5.3 left and right side manifolds, then maybe we could uh, explore trying to find the correct Hummer 2008 to 10 or 11 5.3 downpipe with the pre-cats and post-cats in it. But to be honest with you, at this point, that would, uh, that would, that would do really bad things to, uh, to, the, to the bill here and, uh, and the cost of production. And also, we can't even find the uh, left side manifold. So that's not an option, even if we wanted it to be an option. And um, that is what that is. Uh, it also has a BTR Stage 2 truck cam in it. And the truck cam, honestly, would much rather be happier with, uh, with this than the, all the restriction of, uh, of a catalytic converter. So it'll be all right. Here in Florida, we don't really do the uh, IM240 testing. So uh, for now, it'll, it'll be okay. And maybe later on, on a subsequent thing, we'll, uh, we'll try to sell her some upgraded exhaust. If we can find it. it, it is what it is. But for now, the exhaust is done. It's all ready to go in. And, uh, and that's that get them going. Tomorrow we should be ready to start up on the electrical and getting our second ECU working to drive the engine and transmission while the primary ECU from the Hummer is still uh, there driving everything with the body and communicating with the body with a specific goal of us having no check engine light, no warning lights from the uh, traction control or the ABS or anything else and still having 
this engine and transmission driven with the uh, new controller. Sounds like a, a fun little hob project. And uh, we get to start that tomorrow, hopefully. That's all for tonight. Second ship performance.